Dallas Community County District, and this is Program Educate Texas. My name is Joel Gutierrez. I'm Melody I'm Kyle. I'm Jocelyn Garcia. Now, imagine that you're walking down the street. It's a random street, and you see five random adults. One out of those five cannot read and write. One out of five. It's 2016, and one out of five adults cannot read and write. That's unacceptable. Now, Texas is dead last in the number of adults with GEDs, or general education diplomas. 28% of our adults don't have a GED. In Dallas County alone, there are over 800,000 people who cannot read and write. Now, Dallas Community College County District already does suffer some programs to fix this problem, but we don't have enough support and we don't have enough space to fix it. So very, very few people actually benefit from the program. There are many reasons as to why people don't have enough education. One of them is economic. Some people just can't afford to go to class, can't afford to go to school because they have to work and have to provide and find a way to live. 17% of the people in Texas are poor. Another big reason, immigration. Texas has the second highest rate of immigration in the United States, second only to California. <coughs> 10.8 million people are immigrants. A lot of these people, they'll never receive an education, just come here to work. Another reason, personal causes. Teen pregnancies are high. <coughs> Over 35,000 teen pregnancies were reported in 2014. Only about 40% 40, 40 of those uh, teen mothers will actually finish high school. Now, Jimmy will talk to you about the solution. Okay, so we hope to provide a solution with our partnership with LINCT, Literacy Instruction for Texas, it was established in 1961 by the National Council of Jewish Women. LIFT um, assists 3,000 learners with the help of 330 volunteers. Um, with the help of the LIFT volunteers, we're hoping to offer classes at all our campuses, not just one per year. And this way, the people have access to this program at the Games Community College beyond. So come to talk about what we need. Okay, so next I'm going to talk about what is needed. Uh, first off, more space. Now we do have in our colleges, we have classes, but more importantly for our GED and for the adult illiteracy, we don't have extra space for those. On top of that, for the generic classes, teachers and tutors to help those students that may not catch up and learn as fast as others. And of course, more testing dates. The more that we can supply these dates and allow these adults to succeed, the faster they can get their education and on a better path. Now what we can provide first off are three good benefits. First off, facilities, like I already stated, uh, establishing some educational portables that are strictly for the GED and ESL will first off help this cause. Second, our staff, our teachers, and tutors are gonna be there to help out whenever necessary. And last, supplies, of course, pens and pencils, but more importantly, textbooks. We all know textbooks can cost anywhere from $50 all the way up to hundreds of dollars. And supplying <coughs> that to our adults is just gonna limit one more wall into why they wouldn't wanna succeed with their education and calculators for the higher level math, TI-84s and graphing calculators can also help that cause. Now for our proposal for six months, we're gonna ask for $100,000 to get this started. Now 60% of this is gonna be from the DCCCD and Lyft, the charity that we are partnering with, and the other 40% we are gonna ask from the Chamber of Commerce of Dallas. Now for our budget, half of that money that we are gonna spend is gonna go straight to the teachers and tutors willing to help out for this cause, because it's a big cause that needs to be solved, and we think that they should be compensated accordingly. 20% is our supplies, as I stated, our textbooks, calculators, and even pencils and pens. Those numbers add up very quick. Another 20000 for the portable education buildings and furnishing those as well is going to cost 20000 Each of those costs from 2500 and up. So that's about eight, which we can spread out across our district and help them succeed. And the last 10% is going to go to our event, which Jocelyn is going to talk to us about that. So this year, Lyft will be hosting the Toast for Toast to Literacy fundraiser. Okay, Lisa Henry, Lyft president and CEO, along with Time Lyft uh, supporters Beth Berry and Alec Bogovich, stepped up to chair this year's event. They are luxury real estate professionals and an advertising executive couple. Uh, Toast for Literacy fundraiser. 
fundraiser event is the this largest fundraiser. Uh, events that they're going to be having, uh, the first one, is that they're going to have the band, the Ice House Band, plays anything from R&B, blues, jazz, you name it, kind of like the wedding singer. But they play a lot of variety of music. And then they will also <coughs> host a dinner for you guys. And there will be a raffle in which everyone is welcome to participate. There will also be an open bar from 6.30 to 10 p.m. and guest speakers and much more. Uh, the items we will be raffling will be consist of a Briani suit, which ranges anywhere from $1,000 to $6,000. And Neiman Marcus will donate that to us. Also, Fancy Michael Kors watch. I don't know if you like watches. I know I am, okay. <laughs> and the pricing for the raffle tickets it's one for fifty dollars, or you can buy five for two hundred dollars. So you buy five, you get one free. And so let's just say life happens, you get sick, and you can't make it to the event. What you guys can do is you don't have to be there. Just buy the raffle ticket, get your your information down, and you guys will be automatically put into the raffle. Um, but you really want to be there. Like, come on, there's food, dance, a lot of stuff. So it's a great opportunity for you guys to get involved in a great cause. Okay. And the fundraising event will be on September 11th from 6.30 to 10 p.m. Like I said, open bar. And it's gonna be at the Dallas Omni Hotel. And I'm gonna pass it on to Joe. Okay, so to finish this presentation, I'd like to read to you a quote from John Dewey. He says, education is not preparation for life, education is life itself. Now here at DCCCD, we really believe that. We really believe that education is one of the most important things that you can give to people. And as you, as you already know, as we presented, there is a big issue in Texas and we want to fix it. We want to make sure that our adults have the necessary education and the skills to better themselves and better their lives. And with your support, I know that we can do that. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Okay. <laughs>